Gladys Wanga seems to tense after she have realized that there is a political shockwave imagining in Nyanza region as Kenyans also propel this movement after Raila Ruto's unity and William Ruto storming Nyanza. Gladys Wanga coming out today publicly and saying that there is no one to remove them from Azimio and Raila Odinga is still the leader in Azimio. Let's watch this video because this is what is going to form the basic of our political analysis. Bear with me, bear with me, ladies and gentlemen, because of my voice. The president here in, in our region. We are happy with our people and we thank them for receiving the president. Our people have been mistaken for a long time. People say we throw stones. People say we are not hospitable people. But we are people who know what we want. We know what we want. We know where we have come from. We know where we are. We know where we are going. But we are very hospitable people, extremely hospitable people, and the country saw it when we received the president here. But as chairman, national chairman of the ODM party, I also must reiterate that we will continue to build our party. We will continue to strengthen our party. And we are in the Azimio La Umoja coalition. And nobody can remove us from Azimio La Umoja coalition. Nobody can remove us from there. And our leader is Raila Mola Ngoa Odinga. So, nobody should force us out of anywhere. We are in the minority. Our members now, of parliament will continue with their that duties video clip of, of oversighting Wanda. the government that is what you want as to discuss. be the case. Why do you think she is changing her political tactics? There is a political fear from Gladys Wanga and as a, a leader of uh, ODM party. So it means that Raila Odinga might be in the ballot 2027. Or Raila Odinga might not endorse anyone, but just still clench in Azimio <laughs> and have the benefit from Azimio as the leader, as the leader in Azimio. That is what Gladys Wanga seems to tell us here. Anyway, I want us to carry on with this more uh, political, I want us to carry more up with more updates on this movement, sorry. Why Gladys Wanga defending Azimio? Let us forget all about ODM. Before I carry on, ladies and gentlemen, Thank you so much for your subscription to this broadcast. Because if it was not your subscription, then this channel could have not reached to where it is as of now. By the way, I want to thank you and say may God bless you. If you are watching me for the first time and you've never subscribed to this YouTube channel, I request you kindly do me a favor. Take a once again and click that notification bell and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In that next time, when I upload to you such kind of a video, the video will automatically come into your YouTube platform. And to the members, bother the same boat and like this video. Let's proceed. Now, is there any probability for Zimio still remain coalition, a strong coalition, as it was before? The answer is no. Because people like Alonzo Msioka are not ready for that. People like Eugene Wamalwa are not ready for that. They are saying that they have been betrayed. That is why we saw even Martha Karua wrote a, a resignation letter by saying enough is enough. So there's no one to hide. No, there's nowhere to hide. The other day we saw even several of them coming up saying that We are tired with Azimio because Raila Odinga seems to betray them. So, when the Azimio collapsed, immediately Raila Odinga joined hands with the Ruto. That is where Azimio collapsed. 
someone like Gladys Wanga, I think not understanding. She's just daydreaming. You cannot serve two masters at that time. You can't. You cannot drink wine in the same cup you drink milk. Totally different. So that is what seems to happen in Azimio. If Fray Lodinga have joined William Ruto, do you still expect Kalonzo Msioka and the team to remain in Azimio? The answer is no. Kalonzo Msioka have made his own decision on his political ambition 2027. So there's no way Gladys Wanga can come and convince people in the Republic that Azimio is still strong. She's just issuing a little attack to President Ruto, creating a storm. And Ruto should not believe that they are going to support him, support Ruto. Again, you might be shocked because in politics, anything can happen. Maybe she has been sent by President Ruto to go and convince the people. A kind of wanaombolezo, tafadhali musifani hivi naifu. Kaina sisi. Tarumbete kilea tu hivi pap, muna piga kura. Kwa Ruto direct. I'm not against that because Ruto is the president. Whether you will vote for him, whether you want, is none of my business. I'm not jealous about someone votes. I'm just trying to, to imagine why Gladys Wanga is coming out in social media and defending Azimio. <clears throat> Again, I'm seeing this just uh, uh, the battle of the war in Azimio, as Gladys Wanga now seems to open the war. She's really realizing it late after Kalonzo and the team have gone. Eugene Wamalo have gone. Martha Karo have gone. Jeremiah Kioni, people like Uru Kenyatta and even the team have gone. So even if she tells us that Azimio still remains strong, I can tell you that it is only ODM party remains in Azimio, as other parties will no longer participate in that. You can't tell me that Jubilee is in, political, in Azimio coalition. No, let us not deceive ourselves. But because politics is always well planned and drafted, that is the nature of each and every politician. So Wanga is just disrupting Ruto's agenda. Obvious Ruto might have interest to work with the ODM and even Azimio, and he's still having that interest. But you have that plan for 27. Because Rai Loding have never come out and say which decision is he, ma is he making? Right now, he's still concentrating on the AUC. I know that. But it's going to be tough for him to convince people like Alonzo Msioka, Eugene Wamalwa, Ouhur Kenyatta, and the rest that please come join me in Azimio. No! Whether you signed Gladys Wanga, it's late. Because you had made that decision. I don't know if I'm right. Anyway, that is what seems to happen. I wish you all the best. And I rest my case. At this point, ladies and gentlemen, drop your opinion at the comment section below. As Wanga defies Od Azimio, defending Azimio, and also saying that she is rallying behind Azimio and be behind Raila Amolo Odinga. In our conclusion, they are still protecting Raila Odinga. So there is no room again for Kalonzo Musioka and the team. They are just in protecting Raila Odinga. I told you that if Raila want to be safe, he should honor Kalonza and give him a chance. A quieter leader was Imi Then we see where forward.